Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this YouTube video today. My name is Eloise Hall, Key Account Manager at Kensington Mortgages and I'm going to be running through some of Kensington's key self-employed criteria. In 2019, over 50% of Kensington's business was to self-employed applicants. So this really is an area of the market which we deal with very often and our underwriters live and breathe. Throughout lockdown, Kensington remained open and continued lending. We didn't change our criteria to penalise certain industries or um, certain market areas. We actually adapted our criteria to accommodate for things like bounce back loans and the new government grants. On screen, you'll see some of Kensington's key USPs. The first one being LTV. Now, pre-COVID, our maximum LTV was 95% for a customer who has two years of trading history and up to 85% LTV for a customer who only has one year's trading history. Due to current market volumes that we're experiencing at Kensington, our maximum LTV is currently 80%, but in due course, we do anticipate this to return back to normal. The, we will always use the latest year's figures towards affordability, which has been a great USP for particularly customers who have just started out as it's in a self-employed business. Um, so if their first year is much lower and then their second year is much higher, much more of a reasonable level they expect to continue, um, that's been a great USP of ours, just being able to take their uh, latest, highest year's figure. Uh, when we're looking at limited company directors, we do have flexibility. We can use either salary and dividends or salary and net profit, uh, whichever one's most advantageous, providing that that limited company director holds a 50% share or more of that business. We often deal with a scenario which is uh, we often discuss and we know is not always very convenient for brokers that as soon as a broker is about to submit a mortgage application for a new property or remortgage a customer, their accountant just at that point in time has said, actually, instead of being a sole trader, you should be a limited company. Let's get you changed over, which that can cause a lot of problems for some lenders. For Kensington, however, that's absolutely fine. Um, if a customer has only got one month as a limited company, um, that's not a problem. We would just use their latest year's figures. So if that is from their sole trading business, we're comfortable to use that. That, providing there hasn't been a big material change to that business. Um, our self-employed criteria is also compatible with our high earners criteria. Our high earners criteria offers up to six times income uh, on affordability uh, when we are looking at high earners. Now we describe high earners as somebody who has 100k income or a joint income of 100k. So, for example, we could have uh, Mr. who is a self-employed accountant and Mrs. who is a self-employed um, so, uh, solicitor. And for those two couples, they could have a, a basic income of 40K and dividends of 10K. Both of them um, together would equate to 100K, meaning we can offer them six times income. It's regardless of employment type and regardless of age, it is just an affordability calculation. So do make sure to go onto our calculator and run through those details. Speaking of affordability, it's also worth mentioning our next USP. We, we can ignore business expenses, providing that they have um, suitable evidence, perhaps from a company accountant, confirming that it is in fact a business expense. Perhaps your customer might have a uh, company car, which is on their personal credit file. That's something that we can have discretion over and be able to ignore from affordability with that right evidence. Um, in terms of our self-employed uh, products, um, they are exactly the same as our employed product range, so we don't differentiate there. You will often find that we give free valuation and um, potentially free legals on certain remortgage cases as well. So keep that uh, an eye out for those products too. Lastly, just to cover contractors, uh, contractors is a huge part of uh, the self-employed market and definitely a lot of what Kensington deal with as well. Uh, we use a calculation which is day rate times by 48 weeks. Um, we do have quite a lot of understanding when it comes to complex contractor structures. So if, for example, um, your contractor might have set up their business through an umbrella company, that's something that our underwriters do understand and can consider um, that, that those types of applications as well. 
We do usually like to see 12 months employment history, uh, it being a contractor, uh, and we do look at gaps within those contracts, something we've seen more and more recently. And um, so that's definitely something we can look at. I really do appreciate you taking the time to come onto this video today. Um, if you do have any further questions or want to get into some more nitty gritty detail, please go onto the Kensington website and look up our criteria or your contact details for your local Kensington BDM can also be found on the website. Uh, so get in touch and speak soon.